Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! So next would be comparing fractions. So kapag pareho yung denominator, like this one, ano yung, ano yung i-compare mo dito? Yung numerator. So since largest numerator would be the largest or larger numerator will be the larger number or larger fraction, 6 is greater than 2. So 6 over 24 is greater than 2 over 24. Again, nag apply lang to kapag the same denominator. Here, ano dapat? 11 over 35, 16 over 35. Less than. Less than. Okay, good. How about this one? Less than or greater than? Al? Less than. Okay? How about this one? Greater than. Greater than. Okay. How about kapag naman same ang numerator? Kabalik ta ha? Kapag pareho yung numerator, kung ano yung may smaller denominator, yun yung mas malaking number or mas malaking value ng number. Naintindihan kong bakit lang. Lahat naman naintindihan kong bakit gano'n. Kasi syempre, yes. mas maliit, mas onti yung pagkakahati niya, mas malaki yung value na nire-represent niya. So here, ano dapat? Greater than or less than? Less than. Less than. Kasi, ang laki nito. So, this fraction is less than this. Okay, here, ano dito? Greater than or less than? Less than. Less than. Okay, kasi mas malaki yung 70. So, dapat, itong 12 over 35 yung mas malaking fraction. So, 12 over 70 is less than 12 over 35. Okay, how about this one? Greater than. Okay, good. Last one. 17 over 26 and 17 over 62, greater than. Greater than. So, paano naman kapag magkaiba? We have two methods. Either you convert it, it should be similar fraction. Either you convert it to similar fractions or you cross multiply it. So, paano yung uh, converting to similar fractions ulit? LCD. LCD ng dalawa? Anyone? Three. Three. LCD. Oh, ayun. Mag-tis na. Nine-nine. Three is a common fa factor. Nine is a common factor. LCD is the same as LCM. Common multiple of your denominators. So, the answer here is 27. Okay? Hindi 27 times 9 na. Tadong malaki na yun. Okay, so if your least common denominator is 27, ito will still be 13 over 27 kasi 27 yung denominator niya. May rise and commute naman, 8 over 9, convert to a fraction na may denominator of 27. So 27 divided by 9 times 8. So 8 times 3. Ah, guys, ignore niyo yung 8 kanina. May mali sa PowerPoint. Okay, so here, para maging 12 over 27, minultiply natin yung taas at baba ng 3 over 3. Nagets ba kung ba't natin siya minultiply by 3 over 3? Sige, ulit ha. So, remember kanina, ibabalik ko lang yung PowerPoint natin. Balikan lang natin yung slide. Okay, when you're converting to similar fractions, anong ginagawa nyo? Kinukuha nyo muna yung LCM. Okay? In this case, is 36. So, paano nakuha yung 24? 36 divided by 3, that's 12. 2 times 12 is equal to 24. Kung mapapansin nyo, 3 times 12 is also equal to 36. So you're basically multiplying this by 1 in terms of a fraction ng dalawang parehong integer para makuha mo yung denominator na gusto mo. Okay? So going back here, again, ang ating LCD. Ano ulit ang ating LCD? 27. Ito, kaayusin pa ba natin yung 13 over 27? Hindi na. Okay, na po. 4 over 9, ipoconvert natin to a similar fraction. Again, mali yung nakalagay sa PowerPoint, ha? it should be similar fraction, not equivalent. So, to convert this, 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. Kaya 4 times 3. Okay? So, if you multiply this, you will get 12. And you multiply 9 times 3, you will get 27. So, now let's compare 13 over 27 and 12 over 27. Greater than or less than? Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Good. Another method is cross multiplication. So from the word cross multiplication. So guys, remember, pag nagsusulat kayo ng number or nag-cross multiply kayo, paangat ha. Hindi yung pababa kasi iba yung magiging 
sa dot or iba yung comparison nyo. So here, 27 times 4, that's equal to 108. Tama ba? Okay? So since multiply natin ito, cross multiply 9 times 13, 117. So kung ano man yung sagot na nakuha nyo dito, yung product nyo, sila yung i-compare mo. Ito 117, yan yung parang assigned sa 13 over 27. Itong 108, siya naman yung sa 4 over 9. So, 117 and 108, greater than or less than? Meron tayo? Greater than. Greater. Okay, so since greater than ito, yung fractions niya would be, if follow mo lang yun. Basta remember guys ha, yung pag nagko-cross multiply sa taas, sulat. Kasi pwede 13 times 9, tapos dito mo sa baba sinulat. Magiging mali ka, mali ka, okay? 15 over 56 and uh, anyone? 10 over 45. Kasi pag naman compute. Okay. So, anong gusto nyo gamitin? Cross multiplication, di ba? Yun yung pinakamadali? Or mas gusto nyo mag, ano, similar fraction? Cross, di ba? So, this would be 560. 56 times 10. How about this one? 45 times 15. That's 45 times 15. 522. 675. 675. Okay, good. 675. So we know 675 and 560. Greater than so, it follows 15 over 56 is greater than 10 over 45. Okay, guys, be careful talaga ha pag nagko-cross multiply. Sakit ko kasi yun nung high school, kaya sinasabi ko. Minsan, minumultiply um, na, tapos dito ko sinusulat. So mali yun. Okay? Okay, good point from Mike. Kunwari may malalaki kang numbers, tapos... Um, pwede mo siyang simplify para mas madaling i-multiply mo, pwede din yun. For example, 15 over 56 and then 10 over 45. Okay? 15 and 56, divisible sila pareho by? Wala. 10 and 45, ito divisible by 2, ay by 5. So, magiging 2 ito and ito magiging ano ito? 9. Pero pwede nyo itong gawin para mas maliit na numbers yung minumultiply nyo. If gusto nyo lang. Simplify po agad pag large numbers yung product po. but may simplify yung 15 and 45? 15 and 45, what do you mean by simplify? O nga, I mean, alam ko na yun yung point. Pero hindi ko nag-gets paano mo simplify yung 15 and 45. Ika-cancel mo sila? Hindi ka pwede mag-cancel guys ha. Magiging mali yung sagot. They do not belong on the same fraction. Okay, if you cancel this, this becomes 1, this becomes 3. You meet yung value niya. 15 times 3, the, uh, 1 times 3, that would be 3. So, naging 3 ka dito, tapos dito meron kang 560. So, that's not correct, okay? <laughs> All right? Okay, okay lang, at least na-clarify natin. Huwag nyo isi-simplify, magkaibang fraction sila. You are not multiplying this one. You are cross-multiplying. Okay, pero ito, tama to guys, ha? na pwede mo i-cancel yung the same fraction. Okay? ay yung nagbe-belong sa isang fraction, this one. Kaya ako kinancel, kasi yung 10 over 45 equal lang siya sa 2 over 9. So, mas maliit na yung multiply mo. Alright? Pero mabuti na pinoint out mo yun, kasi actually yung naalala ko na pwede ka nga mag-simplify. 